I've just picked up this insane Call of Duty bundle for just £375 on Facebook Marketplace. Let's take a look. Hey guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Tom and this is Tom's Toys 95. I am a video game collector as well as a part-time eBay reseller and in today's video I've picked up a big bunch of video games. Now they're all from the same series and they're all Call of Duty and quite a lot of these games are expensive collector's editions, hardened editions and prestige editions of Call of Duty. And for those of you like myself that are quite nostalgic, that remember their childhood, Call of Duty go, going for our teens was a massive time and everyone loved Call of Duty, everyone loved playing online. So having a look at these collector's editions and going through them is a great trip down memory lane and a big nostalgia hit for me. So anyway, let's get straight into the bundle. How did I come about finding it? How much did I pay for it, etc. Let's get into it. So on Saturday night, I was browsing Facebook Marketplace, as you do, and I came across this Modern Warfare 2 sealed collector's edition. Now that caught my eye. Uh, in that collector's edition is a pair of night vision goggles. Now I bought this from the car boot a couple of years ago. And I never got around to listing it straight away. So when I did eventually get around to listing it, it held a lot more value than I thought it would. And I ended up selling that um, pair of night vision goggles that were used with no box or game for £75. So I knew straight away that this collector's edition had some value and he wanted £100 for it. So it came with the game, the steel book, an art book, a head to put the night vision goggles on and some DLC all in the box and it was still sealed. Now it was the American version of the game, which in the UK is a little less desirable, obviously in America, that would be the preferred choice over there. Um, and I think he did actually buy it from America because the box he gave it me and had US mail on it when he said that he was collecting it some 10 years ago. So it was originally from America and it all checks out, it seems genuine. So anyway, I had a look through his other listings and on those listings he had all these other Call of Duty stuff. Now all of these prestige editions when they were released in the UK would have been around about anywhere from 80 to upwards of 150 plus pounds. So I know these collector's editions did hold some value and I wasn't sure how much value that they hold today. So I did a bit of uh, research on eBay and I found this exact same copy in the same condition sealed and it was selling or people were asking for around about 300 pound and there were some sold listings for over 200. So I knew this 100 pound investment was a really good deal. So I messaged the person and said, how much for this version? And I did actually look for the other listings and some of them were around about what they sell for on eBay. Some of them were a little less. So I kind of said, I tell you what, I'm interested in two of the four big collector editions that you have. And they had a few loose games and some hardened editions, which are essentially the middle ground between the standard release and the prestige edition, which is the big good version with all the cool stuff in it. And the hardened edition usually comes with like a steel book or an art book or something extra from the standard version, but not as good as the prestige edition. So anyway, I had a look through all this stuff uh, on Facebook Marketplace, and I said, these are the ones I want. And it was the woman, actually, that replied, who was his wife, and she said, said back to me, you know, how much would you offer for all of it? So the ones I picked out were £100 each, and I said I'd be interested in two, maybe three, came to £300. So I said, tell you what, I would offer 225 for these three 100 pound editions that you want for and if you wanted everything it came to 585 pounds now some of them were a great deal and others were overpriced so i did factor that in and i said how about 375 for all of it or 225 for the ones i wanted and i thought they would potentially counter back with 400 or 450 um, but they accepted 375 so i was very happy with that and away i went so the next day i arranged collection i went over and about half an hour drive and I went and picked up these games and let me tell you some of these are absolute beauties so let's take a look at them. Right then so let's begin and let's start with possibly the worst stuff in the bundle probably the cheapest stuff and we'll discuss how much everything's worth as we go through it. So at first in no particular order we've got these PlayStation Platinum games so these are all on PS3 and we've got Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Call of Duty Black Ops, Call of Duty World at War, and Modern Warfare 2. Now, for the most part, these are all complete. They've got the manuals, they've got the platinum disc. Um, the only thing that differs with this set is the fact that there's no platinum case, but that's not a big issue. Now, unfortunately, the person I bought them off was a smoker, so the house did have a really smoky smell, and all of these video games have a smoky odour to them, whether that's the boxes they came in, or the actual collector's editions themselves when you smell the boxes they do smell 
quite heavy off smoke. So all of that will be put in the description. So it is unfortunate, but some of these games are a bit smoke stained and yeah, you know, that will affect the value a little bit. In terms of the collector's editions though, most of them came in boxes. So the box seems to have absorbed most of the smell and any, any odor or any, you know, um, grub, so to speak, um, on the cases. So for example, when I cleaned these with wipes, they came up really grubby. When I quickly wiped over some of the boxes, they were really clean. So the actual outer box that they came in, the cardboard box has been uh, protected it. So that's good there. So these four here, um, only worth a couple of pounds each. I'll probably only list this bundle for something like six pounds plus postage, maybe eight pounds plus postage. So I won't get a great deal of value on these. So I think he wanted 25 pounds for these originally. And that is for those and the next set of games here. So we've got some more Call of Duty games. Obviously, everything in this bundle is Call of Duty, so I won't keep saying that word. Um, I won't annoy you. But um, first up, again, no particular order, but we've got World of War. And again, that's all complete. Uh, this one is the only one that has the platinum disc, which is really frustrating. Uh, but everything else is uh, good to go, and all with the manuals. So we've got Call of Duty 4 there, so I won't keep saying that word. Um, I won't annoy you. Then we've got number 3, which is the first one on the PS3. Then we've got Modern Warfare 2, which is the one everyone remembers, the classic. Uh, not my favourite at all, probably one of the worst ones for me is Call of Duty Ghosts. Then we've got Black Ops 2. Modern Warfare 3. And last but not least, just the regular ordinary Black Ops. And now on Black Ops 6, can you believe? So all of these games came to £25. So there's 12 games in total, I believe. So all of those will be listed on my eBay store in two bundles. Probably get about £8 for one. And I'm going to ask for around 20 to 25 for the others. Now, obviously, due to the smoke damage, I could probably you know, ask a little less for that. So we'll see. I'll put them on. I've explained it all in the description. And we'll just see if I get any offers for them. So there's six items left. We have two hardened editions and four prestige editions. So let's get into those. So one of my favorites, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 prestige edition, beautifully sealed, really nice. Unfortunately, there is a nick here where the plastic's broke, so that will affect the value. And again, I did clean it with a wipe because it was smoky. So there is some slight yellow. And if you have a look at the seals, I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but there are some yellow or yellowing signs to that, which is a shame, but again, will be in the description. Uh, that one, he wanted £80, so that was the one that was probably overpriced. I think I saw one on eBay. Open, they go for around £15 to £20, and in sealed condition on Xbox, and I think PlayStation as well, but I, I saw one on Xbox for £49.99 or £50, something, so... I don't think they hold as much value as he was asking. So £80 for his original price on that one was quite high. If I sell that, I'll be lucky to get probably £60, £70 for it, especially in that condition. And the next one, which he also wanted £80 for, is this hardened edition of Call of Duty Ghosts on the PS3. Now, this one is also sealed, really nice. I may add this to my own collection, and the reason I might add it to my collection is because this is only worth about £39.99. So on eBay... This is only selling for that much money. And I was going to list mine for around 45 to 50 and just leave it. And, you know, mine might become the cheapest eventually. And uh, I'm in no rush to sell it. Uh, and I still might do that. But um, £50, you know, seems like a fairish price for this sealed. Uh, but 39 99 to me just seems really cheap. So I'd probably wait and hold this on in my collection for a bit longer. Um, but, yeah, he wanted £80 for this one also. So he wanted 160 um, for those two games, and then 25 for that stack there. So that's why I, you know, offered a reduced price for the bundle, um, because, you know, I don't think these ones hold as much value as he's asking for. Up next, then, we have the first of the four prestige editions. Now, this one is probably my least favourite, as I mentioned. It's Call of Duty Ghosts. It's weren't my favourite game. So this one, he was asking for £100. So the next four items, he wanted £100 each. So... This one, when I researched, it was only worth about 95 on Xbox pre-owned and opened, and I think on PS3 someone had one for a similar price. And the only one I found sealed was listed for £150, which wasn't a bad price at all. 
Um, but then when I actually bought it and brought it home, I had a look online to draft the listing up because I want to get these listed as soon as possible to try and, you know, get my, my money back because £375 out of my bank is quite a lot of money. So I want to recoup some of that money as quick as possible. And one was listed for £45 sealed. So I was a bit shocked because I thought, oh, great, I've massively overpaid on this if you wanted £100 for it. And it turns out someone had just listed that on the PS3 sealed with no game because if you have a look here it says it doesn't include the game so i immediately bought it i had a look and the second cheapest was that 95 pound xbox one open so i bought it straight away and the guy messaged me the next day to say that it had been posted so that should be with me for today or tomorrow so i'm really excited to get a sealed version of this as well that was just by complete luck and chance i was just researching the price on that and it had just been listed, so if I didn't buy it, someone else would have. But also, I've technically bought the competition, so the second cheapest now is now £95. So if I can list this for around 89 99 maybe maybe even 95 or 100 it myself, and we'll see how that goes. So inside, it's really good condition, so let's get into that now. So if you take this sleeve off, you've got the outer box there, it's got a little magnetic tab here. And then if we open this up, you can see inside you've got the ghost there we've got the ghost steelbook now this one because it's opened he's put the disc inside so that does come with a disc as well but the actual original sealed copy wouldn't have come with a disc the game is separate and this is i don't actually know what this is i don't know if this is some sort of like wristband or something but it has the ghost like emblem on there so that's pretty cool so this case includes a 1080p HD tactical camera and this has never been used so the guy said he was going for a phase where he was trying to play the games before he stopped and he said he bought some of these versions of sealed or he bought them, opened them to play the game and then never actually used them and um, just kept them for the collection. So all of these parts are mint pristine so you can see under here there's a few extra bits there that all builds this little tactical camera so you can see the ghost logo there. And it's even got a sticker on it that says to be removed. So all of that is in there. Really nice. You've even got um, the power supply cable there. So you've even got a little memory card. And then we've got the information sheet. I won't get those out, but there's a little information booklet in there as well. And it all comes in this little nice sturdy case. Little hard shell case. So yeah, that's that, that version. Um, I could probably get around about £100 for this. So pretty much what he was asking for on that version. Um, there wouldn't be a great deal of profit in it if I was to pay £100. In fact, I probably would lose money if I was to pay £100 for that one. So, put that one there. So that's Call of Duty Ghosts, and now it's time to go on to the next three. <coughs> Who remembers this bad boy? This is Call of Duty Black Ops Prestige Edition by Treyarch and Activision. It came out in 2010. Now this is opened, so it's not sealed. As you can see, it's been opened here. It's not in the greatest shape. There's a few little dinks in the corner, but for its age, it's still in really, really good condition. So you can see there, there's a few little like dinks in the box. There's a scratch here. So not perfect, but very happy with it nonetheless. So let's take a look inside. So this comes with an RC car. And as you can see, just from looking inside, the RC car is still attached to the cardboard. And this uh, receiver here, this remote control, still has the plastic on the screen. So the guy said that he's never touched it, he just opened it up, or he might have even bought it opened. Um, and then in here, we have the Black Ops like medal or emblem that comes with it. I think this also comes with the hardened edition as well as the prestige edition. And there will be a game in there as well, which I believe might be a steelbook. So there is something else in there. Uh, I just need to see if I can get to it. So here's the steelbook. It says classified on the side, Call of Duty Black Ops. And he's also put the disc in there as well. Although actually this version would have come with the disc. It was only the Call of Duty Ghosts that didn't. So again, M rating. So this is the USA version. But really nice. I really like the artwork on this one. That is some nice artwork on that still book. I'm going to have to check when I get home actually because I have the steel book in my collection. This came out in the UK as well. But I really don't remember the inside of the steel book looking like that, so I'll have to check my copy. Um, but that is really nice. So 
So I've taken the RC car out of the box. And as you can see, it's not perfect. There's a few little damages here, but this is still attached. This car here, never been used. And here is the remote control, still sealed in the packet. These tabs haven't come off. There's your trigger, Call of Duty Black Ops RCXD. Got your buttons on there, so that says steady pairing and volume display. And that's really it, that's all that's to it. There's a little bit of paperwork in there, I believe. And that's it, so I'm, I'm gonna keep this open now while I take some pictures from my eBay store. So this will be listed. Uh, so again, this was asking for 100 pounds and I believe it sells for around about 100, 120, depending on condition. Whilst it's opened, I can see it's never been used and it's still in the packet, like the contents are still sealed inside. So hopefully I could maybe get 120, maybe even 130 for this one. Now the penultimate one, and probably my favorite, just for nostalgia reasons, this is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Prestige Edition with the night vision goggles. And this is still sealed. Again, this is the American version, which is a shame because over here in the UK, the UK version would be worth more. But I'll put this on eBay. I'll, I'll use GSP, which is the global shipping program. So it opens it up to the world. And anyone that wants to buy it can. So there might even be someone in America that wants to buy this. So this is the PlayStation 3 version. Uh, M for Mature. You've got the night vision goggles in there. So let's see the contents. So obviously I can't open this one because it's sealed. So we have the Soap McTavish goggle stand. So that's where the uh, goggles will go on top of his face. And we've got the night vision goggles. We've also got a Call of Duty Classic PlayStation download. Now that obviously isn't going to work anymore because that's, um, what, 15 years old, that code. So that probably won't work anymore. And then we've got Behind the Lines concept art book, which also comes in the hardened edition, which we saw over there. And then we've got the hardened edition steel book. So really, really cool contents on this. Um, would love to, you know, use those goggles again. I did sell my pair and I used it for a little bit and they were really good, actually. Um, I think when you look through it, every, obviously it's pitch black outside. If you look through it in the dark, everything is green. You have different shades of green. So it kind of, you can kind of like make out what certain things are. So I looked at the street and I could see the cars and the street lamps and the bushes and stuff. Whereas obviously you take them off and it's pitch black. So they do actually work. So it is a really cool item to have. Um, but I just think because the value of this one, I can't really afford to keep it in my collection. I need to recoup that money as soon as possible. So how much can I sell this one for? So it, this was listed for £100. This was the one that piqued my interest and made me buy the whole bundle. And I think I might have mentioned it earlier in the video, but this one was listed for around about £300, £350 on eBay. So I've listed mine for £399.99. Now that is a crazy price, I know. But, you know, you got to aim high and I, I, I'm, I welcome offers. And if I can get 300, 350, you know, on this as a business account, I'm going to get stung with a hell of a lot of fees. So I'm going to list this as high as possible and be patient. And I can always drop the price if I need to. So this is going to be listed for 399 pounds. And I can always reduce it. So I've saved the best one to last. And this item does not come sealed. It comes in a cardboard shipping box which I guess is the seal. And once you crack that cellar tape open and you open that shipping box, then you're left with the item. But the item itself, once you remove all the packaging, there's no seal on it. So this is in really good mint collect quality. However, the outer shipping box has been opened. So I'll show you that now. Now I will be selling the item with the shipping box because I do believe it will add some value to the item as it has the Activision logos on there and things like that. So I'll, I'll get into that now. So as you can see, here is the cardboard box. It has Activision here. And then in the corner there, it says, do not sell before November 13th, 2012, no vendor, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, that's in foreign language. And then as we move this around, it's got a bit more information on there, same thing there. Now, unfortunately, as I mentioned earlier, this is smoke stained. You can see it's discolored, it's a bit damaged. So unfortunately, that will affect the value. However, I was going to throw the box away, but I think it will definitely add some value to the game because this is the original shipping box that it came in. Now, once you take this apart, other than a bit of cardboard and some outer packaging, you're left with the actual item. So let's get into what that is. So this is wrapped around the item. So this obviously tells you what it is. So this is the Call of Duty 2 uh, Black Ops 2 care package. And this is the contents. Oh, so when you get into the cardboard box, you're greeted with a 
bubble wrapped envelope that says Call of Duty on it and you open it up and the game is inside. Unfortunately, that is not included. So that is the only aspect of this that is stopping it being complete. However, it does come with the other letter, which says this parcel contains two products, the care package itself and the Call of Duty Black Ops game, but that comes in a separate envelope. So this edition does not contain the game. So I have had a, actually had a look in here and in the steel book inside, which should be empty, there is actually the game in there. So the previous owner would have put that in. However, the actual game itself is, is not here. So I do have the game in the collection. It's just a standard game, but unfortunately the padded envelope with the Call of Duty branding on, that would be the thing that probably adds the value to it. So we have this letter here and then you lift up these clips and this is what's inside. So in this box, you have a drone, that's the controller. Now I'm not gonna go into too much detail on this because I actually wanna do a separate video on unboxing this thing, uh, roll back the years, pretend it's 2012 and actually go through in detail because I've got a really nice complete condition copy here. So I think that would make quite a fun video. So if you did wanna check that out, then keep an eye out for that on future in the channel. Um, but I don't want to drag this video out too much longer, so let's just get into it. So the drone itself is really light, and the reason for that is because it's made of polystyrene and just plastic. So this was an era before drones got expensive and they had cameras and all these gadgets. So this was a really cool item when this came out back in the day. Here we've got the controller, so this has got a lot more weight to it. So the controller is sealed in there. Now I don't know if I'll actually unbox this because it is sealed, but we'll see. Um, I might do a full breakdown unboxing video and then once it's all unboxed, I can take pictures for eBay. Um, but the controller is in there. And then this is the Steelbook case. So let me just shut this lid. So this is the Steelbook case. And then originally it didn't come with the disc. And then you've got the manual as well. And then there's the DLC, which has been used or expired. And the last thing in here, we have two collector medallions. So one says Call of Duty Black Ops 2, and the other one, Black Ops 2 with the care, uh, drone on it, sorry, not the care package of the drone. So those are nice as well. So again, I'm not gonna show you the drone. It's all in the box. So I will do a separate video on that and I will show you all of the actual cardboard sleeve and the bag and everything else. But yeah, for now, that is everything. So in terms of value, again, they wanted hundred pounds and it's hard to price one. So one on eBay at the moment is listed for 850 pounds, which is ridiculous. No one's going to pay that. And that is in like collector quality, which I believe this to be. So mine's similar to that. There's one, someone selling just the trunk for 95 pounds with nothing else. There's a few people selling the drone separately. And then there's some people selling it in nice, complete condition with a few little blemishes. Um, and maybe the things have been used or opened and that is selling for around 400 to 450. So I, I think comfortably it's worth at least three to 400 pounds. And I think in the condition it's in, I could push 400 to 500 top end. So I'm really, really happy with this edition. So I'm hoping this overall haul can get me anywhere between 800 and a thousand pounds and maybe after fees if i get seven eight hundred pound and i can double my money i'll be very very happy so that's the bundle that's you know everything that i picked up uh, i hope you enjoyed the video and it took you back just like it did with me so all of this stuff is all my childhood games so it feels weird saying childhood games i played all these in my teens these weren't really my necessarily childhood but these are a good 10 15 years old I used to play these games all the time. Don't play Call of Duty anymore, unfortunately, but um, these editions, I remember these coming out and never being able to afford them at the time. So it's really cool to own them now and take a look at them in all its glory. But thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, it's a bit of a one-off, but this is technically a reselling video. So I'll be picking up potentially things like this in the future, explaining them in a bit of detail, how I got them, where I found them from, how much I paid for it, and potentially how much I can sell it for. So yeah. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.